What's going on, everybody? Kwaku here, bringing you a quick update. Microsoft, Brandon LeBlanc, today, or actually January 6, 2021, uh, he announced Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 21286, and it is an RS pre-release on the dev channel. Um, all you have to do is go search for it or go go to your Windows update if you are on the dev channel for the Insider Preview, and you can uh, get this update. Now, not everybody is getting this headline feature here, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. I didn't even get it, and it is this news and interest on the taskbar. So basically about right here is where it would appear if it was there. And basically what it does is allows you to see news and interest in a live tile-esque format on your taskbar, which is pretty cool looking. You can minimize it and, and see that. So let me show you down here. Here's a little GIF that they have for us here. So they go to the corner, you can highlight it and see all your stuff, and then you can hover away from it, click away, and it disappears just like that. It's a pretty it's a pretty clean looking thing. Um, I wonder if this is also gonna be like phase one or part one of the little minor refresh or the major refresh they're doing, um, aka Sun Valley, uh, that I talked about last year, but this is one of the major features, news and interest, and basically this allows you to just see at a at a glance your news and interest. So right now our starts menus look like this, right? We, we see this kind of thing here and we see pictures if we want to put that there. Whatever we decide to put in, we can put it there. And now we're getting something more, more up to date, more, more, how do I even say it? We're getting something more fresh, you know, more up to the current fluent design language. This is still fluent, obviously, but this is still closer to Windows 8 fluent versus uh this here which it feels more of microsoft's current design language with rounded corners on rectangles in fact i can zoom in so you can see like rounded corners on rectangles even though the outside does not have rounded corners so the inner inner rectangles are rounded and squares are round rounded um, you can pin things pin away things you can see news at a glance which this works in tandem with microsoft edge the chromium based edge which is this one right here um in order to get that stuff working obviously i don't have access to it but it's a cool feature nevertheless and i i can't wait i'll do a separate video just talking about this thing and just something really quick and brief when i actually get the feature some of you might already have this feature i just don't have it in this current build uh, it says you can personalize your feed with relevant content tailored to you instead of switching between your apps and phone to stay up to date with the news and interests you care about seamlessly peek into your feed from the taskbar anytime you want throughout the day so basically you'll seamlessly be able to like peek in and peek out just to see like what's there um it's separate from the notification center which is right here um so it's our action center which is right there so staying up to date you can quickly glance directly from the taskbar get up to date headlines on weather sports and more then go back to whatever you're doing you have a ton of uh, global brands such as the verge new york times bbc you have gorgeous live weather maps um i don't see a live weather map i just see this right here so that's nice um and then it says here personalize your feed which can tell you can tell us which content you like to see and don't like to see by selecting more and choose more stories like this. So it's basically like what you already see on uh, MSN's head webpage. So if I go here and then let's say I want to scroll down so you can see the layout kind of here, right, where you see these rounded corners. And if I want to right click, you can see other things like that. Um, but you'll be able to right click and actually say I don't want to see this in fact if I hit personalize just like that you can see top stories and all that stuff um, again I can't do anything with this because this is just a web page but you can do that in the other the news and interests uh, going deeper you have you're in control it says you can they're dealing with privacy so there's quick access to Microsoft privacy dashboard uh, through the web browser, built-in controls limit pr tracking from advertisers and third parties. If it doesn't appeal to you, the news and interest doesn't appeal to you, you can use to turn it off by right-clicking the taskbar. So basically, like you can right-click your taskbar and probably go to search or go to toolbars or something, or probably be part of this list here, and you can get rid of it or activate it, just like you can do with Cortana and stuff. Um, it says here, as more of us are spending time on our PCs, learn to connect news interests 
on the taskbar is a nice companion for those who want to stay connected with information on the latest current events. Over time, we hope to bring the feed of news and interest to other places such as Edge. So no matter where you are, you'll be able to stay up to date. So they're pretty much bringing stuff like this to um, their mainstream applications. Don't be surprised if you see something like this probably in Outlook and you see something like this or maybe even the built-in Windows Mail that they're replacing soon. Uh, don't be surprised if you see something like this in there. Uh, going down more, it says we are beginning to roll out news and interest to Windows Insiders today, starting with build 21286 in the dev channel. And insiders will need to reboot after installing the build to enable the feature. I'm not able to enable this feature even after restarting. Um, so I'm just going to have to wait. So I don't know what to do there. But keeping on going down, we have modernized storage spaces. Now, this is another thing that I can't demonstrate personally because when I brought up storage spaces for myself, this is what I saw. So this is my storage spaces. And when I click on the storage spaces on the settings thing, so I'll show you guys in a second. When I click on storage spaces or I, I search for storage spaces, this is what I see. So it says storage uh, spaces. It says manage storage spaces. So I'll, I'll exit out of this just so you guys can see that when I actually click on this, I get this old version of it, basically the Windows 7 looking uh, storage spaces. It doesn't look, it doesn't, it's not what this was and storage spaces has been out for a while. I still just don't have access to it for whatever reason. I don't know whether it's because I'm not running a Surface. I don't know if it's because I'm, this is a custom built PC. I, I'm not sure what it is, but that's, that's what it is. And they also say that you can also go to settings um, system and then you can go down to I believe it was storage I saw it says storage settings and then go down to storage and you'll see stuff like that but again I can't I can't do storage spaces at all I can't show you that feature it says manage storage spaces I click it and it brings this up so unfortunately we're gonna have to look at this GIF it says you can now create storage spaces uh, and manage storage spaces within the settings app, which I cannot do. This includes creating storage pools, storage spaces, and adding and removing disk optimizing pools. This feature allows an accessible modern experience integrated with other storage features, features that I cannot do. So I can't demonstrate it. It says you can go to system storage and click manage storage spaces under the more storage settings to, uh, to get started. And of course, it says here this is a feature rolling out to a subset of insiders in the dev channel at first. So that's why I don't have it uh, to help us identify issues quickly and impact performance. Rest assured, they'll be gradually rolled out to everybody. And then the next thing here, we have introducing new file system command line tool, disk usage. So disk, capital disk, capital usage, enabling users to view uh, and query disk space usage via the command line. With disk usage, you can now track files and directories that are consuming excessive amount of space on the drive. It scans the directory um, recursively and the entire drive detailed information on how each subfolder is using. So you can basically just manage to see like what's going on in your drives. You can see what's eating up all your storage and fix that problem. I have that problem already that something's using up a lot of space on my main drive and I don't have that many things installed on it. So I'll probably use this utility just to test it out. Um, and then you can do run commands on startup using Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL. You have that integration that came in a while ago. They're having an example with uh, PowerShell here that you can use to get deeper into that. Scrolling down more, we have improving experience transitioning between time zones. So this is based on feedback. They're making a bunch of a little differences when transitioning time zones. Um, and it says here you have an example due to a location change, your time zone has been switched to Pacific. Uh, due to a location change, your, a new time zone has been detected. Is it okay? And then you just hit okay. So it's not going to automatically switch it. It's now going to um, hit okay. And you have to hit okay to confirm it. And then other updates, you have the Windows file recovery from the winter 2020 update. Um, says the team has received tons of feedback uh, about the app. And this includes performance, in, in performance improvements, bug fixes, and introduction of two simplified recovery modes regular mode is a fast recovery for ntsf ntfs file systems and extensive mode is a more thorough um basically a thorough search that applies to most file systems the update is the update is available to windows insiders and it will be released to the general public windows 10 2020 may update 
um, or higher in early 2021. If you have Windows File Recovery installed, you can download it from here from the Microsoft Store and you'll get it. And then it has a bunch of fixes. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into the fixes, but they have a ton of fixes here. Um, it says fix an issue where there's no drives appearing under the system storage settings and manage disk and volumes and so on. It's a whole lot. I'm not going to read through all of it, um, but it works. And then one thing that I'm very happy to say, <laughs> and I've been complaining about this on Twitter, is that they're working on a fix where insiders have reported certain games like State of Decay 2 Assassin's Creed uh, may hang or crash when launching. I cannot play any Assassin's Creed games that I paid for on this computer. Uh, but apparently they know that now and then they're also investigating call of duty issue as well and so on like that so yeah there's there's a whole lot this is this is an endless this is a very long article um so i highly suggest if you are interested in this stuff you uh go to this article blogs.windows.com slash windows insider to just read through it thoroughly if that's what you like to do um but this is just a brief kind of run through of what the features that stand out and things like that that kind of caught my eye are right, but this is windows 10 insider preview build 21286 my name is kwaku and if any features come out later on i'll be sure to bring them out but ces is next week so stay tuned for that take care everybody